Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Can complain. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, it's raining. Yeah, I know. What part of El Salvador are you in, Josue? I live in North Northern. What a um, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You you told me yes. All right. Is it raining uh, hard? Yes, it's raining hard. Yeah, right here in Lourdes, uh, it began raining uh, a few minutes ago, and it's kind of strong too. Oh, right. Yeah. And uh, I have another class from 8 to 9 p.m. And my students were telling me that it was raining at their home soon. Oh, uh, yes. So it must be nationwide. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. How was your day? Really busy. Okay. <laughs> ah, okay, good. All right, so today is June 23rd. We're almost finished with the month. We're almost finished uh, with the level two. So let's talk a little bit about yesterday. Do you remember the topics that we discussed? Yes. Okay, what were the topics? The last one, we were seeing the difference between good and should. Right. Now, how do you use should in a general form? When do you use it? When you're giving in an, in advice. Okay, when you're giving an advice, very good. When do you use can? Yes, Ken. I can play basketball. I can play chess. When do you use it? So asking for permission. Okay, that is possible. What if I tell you I can go to Santa Tecla tomorrow morning? What is the message in that sentence? It's like you're asking for a suggestion. On okay. A device. Okay. So if I said uh, I can call you after the class. That means that I have the possibility of calling you after the class. What is the function of must? I'm expanding a little bit because you use, uh, in, according to yesterday's class, you know, they use past models, we should and would. But the reality is that you can use past models with almost all the models that you can think of, would have, should have, could have, must have, may have, um, all of them. So what is the function of must, M-U-S-T? Must, and I think that is mandatory action. Right, right. What about could? could. It's like a possibility. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Possibility. Okay, so imagine that um, someone falls from the second floor, but nothing happens to him or her. And then you tell him or her, te pudiste haber quebrado las piernas. How do you say that? Pudiste haberte quebrado las piernas. According to yesterday's uh, class, what would be the structure to say that? Now remember, we use, uh, let me write it here for you, uh, chat. Okay, you use the model plus have. You call. Uh -huh. You call bread, bread the left. Okay, what is the past tense of break, I did? Breaking. Oh. Okay, that is the that is the gerund form, but the past the past form broke. 
Broke. Broke. And the past Broke. participle? Broke. Broken. Broken. You see the chat? I wrote model plus have uh, plus. It's not the main verb. It's the past participle. Past participle. It's not the main verb. It's past participle. My mistake. Sorry. So it's model plus have plus past participle verb. So once again, you say, you could have broken your legs. You could have broken your legs. Okay, what is the one we use for possibilities? May, may or might. May or might, exactly. You can use may, might, or could. So let's say you're waiting for your sister or your brother and they are already 20 minutes late, but it's the first time they're visiting you in your new house. So you tell your husband, your wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, you tell them, se pudo haber perdido mi hermano. How do you say that in English? My brother could have lost. Could have gotten lost. Oh, okay. Perderse, you say, get lost. Past tense, got lost. Past participle is gotten lost. So you say, he could have gotten lost. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. All right. Okay, we, we're going to have more practice about past models uh, today. Uh, any comments or any questions about yesterday? No? No question. Okay. All right. So uh, let me look for the screen here. Go here. Okay, um, do you see the document? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. yes, yes. Okay, can somebody read the first one? You don't have an umbrella and it's raining hard. Okay, so how do you say, yo hubiera traído sombría? I could have brought an umbrella. I should have. I should. I should. Uh, yes. uh -huh, because you're you're recommending yourself. I should have. Should have. I should have brought should've. an umbrella. Okay. Yeah, okay. How do you say? Hubieras escuchado a tu mamá. Let's say your mom. He was. She was telling you. Look. Take an umbrella. Take an umbrella. Rain is coming anytime. But you didn't listen to her. So now someone tells you, when I ask my child to my mom, I should have listened to my mom. Your mom. Okay, you should have listened to your mom. Uh -huh. Good. What about number two? Your sister took your jacket without permission. Did, did you have that problem when you were uh, little that your brothers or sisters took your things without permission? How do you how do you tell your brother or your sister me hubieras preguntado? You should have me ask me. Exactly. You should have asked me. Yeah, because sometimes the problem is not that they they use your things. The problem is that they think 
your things are their property, they don't ask, okay? So then you have number three, you burn your mouth because the soup was too hot. Your best friend is in terrible pain because she didn't want to visit the doctor. Your brother did not pass the exam. You left your cell phone on the desk and someone took it. It's very hot and you can't sleep. Your cousin broke her arm because she did not use a seatbelt. Your son bought a pair of shoes that cost $200. And number 10, I won the lottery last year, but now I have nothing. So are the, the exercises clear? Do you understand the 10 sentences, the, sen the 10 different situations? Yes. So you have 10 different scenarios. You're supposed to use past models and give your opinion about each one. So I gave you the example of the first one said, you, I should have brought the umbrella. Or someone tells you, you should have listened to your mom. Or when your sister took your jacket without permission, you said, hey, you should have asked. Right? Yeah. Or Got you it. could have told me. So the idea is that you use uh, the model. A, uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, to, to give an opinion. Model plus have plus past participle. Okay, so are the instructions clear? Yes. All right, so let me make the pairs. I will assign you to work together. Okay. And here we go. It's raining hard here in all of this. Uh, the main purpose is to give uh, an answer for each one. For example, if you don't have an umbrella and it's raining hard, uh, the answer would be you you would have you should have brought brought or brought. Okay, using past models. Exactly. Yes. In the next. Okay. Yes. Okay. Kimler and Kimberly, you guys, I didn't see you yesterday. Were you here? No. Or were you on vacation? I can't. I couldn't. Cool. Okay. That's fine. Okay. You're here today. That's very important. That's good. Okay. Yeah, I miss you all, but I have to work here <laughs> today. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> Jack can't without your permission. Permission. Oh, okay. I understand. Uh, number three. Yeah. You burn your mouth because the soap was too hot. Yes. Uh, I can you say. Should, you should have to wait. For you should the, have waited. Waiting. Wait. Uh, waited. ED. Waited. Because uh, wait. Regular. So when you use past participle of regulars, they always finish with ed. Okay. Okay. And your best friend is a terrible pain because she didn't want to visit the doctor. 
Um, your best friends should have should visit the doctor. Visited? Visited, visited the doctor. A doc uh -huh. What about number five, Aide? Five. Your brother did, did not pass the exam. Um, your brother should, should, should not pass the exam? Uh, not really. Your when brother ha your brother should have studied for the exam. Exactly. Your brother should have studied, yes. Okay. Show. Show. Try try to use uh, a variety of models like should have, could have, must have. Which number are you doing right now? Number two. Number two. Okay, yes. so your sister took your jacket without permission. Yes. How do you say, ella debió tener frío? You're 100% you're, you're sure that if she took it without permission, it's because she was very cold. How do you say, ella debió tener frío? Eh. She, 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 called? She, she, called? she must she called? have been called. Okay, she must have been called. Been called. If yeah. you are very sure that she didn't ask for permission because she's, she's got good management, look, she must have been called. Now, if it's a possibility, then you use the one uh, you were saying, she could have been called, could have tenido frío. She Got it? Have been called. She could have been yeah. called. She must have been called. She might have been called. So the idea is that you use different uh, different models. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> you should have visited the doctor. <laughs> yes. Your best I... advice. <laughs> Yeah, number five, your brother did not pass the exam. Mm. And he should... He should, should have, have study for the exam. Okay. Now, study. what is the yeah. model that you use when you are 100% sure about something? 100%. Mm. Sorry? What is it? Mm. Must. must. So, uh -huh. so how do you say, uh, él debió haber estado enfermo? Your brother didn't pass the exam, and you know that he dedicates time to books and everything. So you know that the only explanation is that maybe he was sick. So how do you say, él debió haber estado enfermo? Mm. He must be, or he must have been. Have uh, been. Sick. He must have been sick. He must have sick. been sick. You're a hundred percent sure because your brother is very responsible. So the only explanation is that he had health problems. So he said he must have been sick. Uh huh. Good. Yeah. Oh. Okay. 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 Number five. Sure. Should be. Should have. Should have. Your courses should have um, use a set bell. Yes, that's correct. And the number nine. nine. Your song, your song a uh, a pair of shoes that cost uh, twenty two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Uh -huh. That's a lot of money. <laughs> oh my God, it's very expensive, Perry. Uh -huh. <laughs> very expensive. So how do you tell your son, pudiste haberlo ahorrado? Um, you should, you should be, 
Oh. If you're saying you should have saved it, you're saying deberías haberlo ahorrado, which, which the message Maybe is very similar. You would have saved it. You could have saved it. You could. You could have saved it. And, and that's why at the beginning of the session, I was asking you, like, okay, which one do you use for possibilities? Which ones do you use to give advice? Which ones when something is uh, mandatory? So you said, man, you could have saved that money. You could have saved that money. Mm. Now, what is the model that we use when you are 100% sure about something? Must. Must. How do you Must. say, a él le debieron haber gustado bastante? Um, he must to. He must have. He must have. Uh, like it so much. Like it. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So look, two hundred dollars. He must have liked them a lot. Very good. And he and he must have uh, take the money. <laughs> yeah, I mean two hundred dollars. He must have money. He have many money. A lot of money, right? A lot of money. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Mm, okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, you should have bought a a fan. Fan. <laughs> the problem is if you don't have window. Of if you don't uh, have money to buy the app. You can't <laughs> you can't wait. Here. You should have you should have bought you, a HT air conditioner. <laughs> you have to solve it in, in that time and not you can't wait for the next day. Maybe <laughs> if you open the you should you should go you won't open the window or <laughs> you know, maybe. Well, from my point of view, it's not possible to open the window. Uh, yes, you need a phone. It's possible, <laughs> it's possible getting so, uh, a snake, for example. <laughs> At night. <laughs> do, do you have plants around your house? Yes. A... Okay. And yes. a lot of animals. Picture. Imagine <laughs> I, I live in the Double K, no? Okay. Okay. Yeah, the volcano has a lot of trees, nature, animals. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. It will be weird that okay. a bird come, <clears throat> come across uh, your window and, and get in through. Better yeah. Than maybe, or, yeah. Or bats. Yeah. Mike, you have to close your window. <laughs> or put a make. fence. It's not safe. <laughs> a net, actually. Yeah. You should take a shower before go to bed. Okay, you should have taken a shower. You should, you should have, have taken. taken. You should you have, have taken. Uh-huh. That's a good. A, a good. Pencil. And the next. Number eight. Your cousin. Yes. Maybe I could I could ha have saved money. That's a good sentence. Right. Are, are you doing number ten right now? Number ten. Yeah. Okay. Imagine. Imagine yeah. this person spent a lot of money in one year. <laughs> yeah. And, and that happens, you know, they, there are famous people that they have been millionaires. They don't know who to administrate the money. And one day they go broke. Yes, because the person is not a, a mind millionaire. It's only have the, the money. Exactly. But the mind is spending. Right. It's not prepared to receive the money. Okay. Now, what is the model that we use when something is hypothetical? Hypothetical. When, when it's hypothetical. 
¿Te diría? ¿Te ayudaría? ¿Vendría? ¿Iría? Maybe might. Ok, might is for possibilities. But when something is hypothetical, like if I say, te diría, pero es confidencial. How would you say that in English? I could. I could probably. is possibilities, right. But I probably have to say. Okay, when you talk about uh, hypothetical, Maybe. When you talk about hypothetical things, you say would. Uh, would. Would. So would. you say would because it didn't happen to you. So you're giving your opinion for another person. So how do you say, yo lo hubiera puesto en el banco? I wouldn't have put it in the bank. I would have put it in the bank. Take uh -huh. in the bank? I no. would have taken it to the bank. Yes. Put, taken. Uh -huh. Now, Maybe if it's... I, uh -huh. I would have invested. Uh -huh. Good. I would have invested that money. Multiply. Good. Right. Now, how do you say desperdiciar in English? Waste. Ah, waste. 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 How do you say, yo no lo hubiera desperdiciado? I don't. I wouldn't. I, I, I wouldn't waste. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have wasted. I, uh -huh. waste. I wouldn't have wasted it. Yo no lo hubiera desperdiciado. I wouldn't have wasted it. Maybe yes. I wouldn't have bought a house. Okay, good. I would have bought a house. I would have done many things yes but right. not bought pair of shirts of 200 dollars right <laughs> now it, it, and if you analyze all the people that are rich and famous you know they're very um they dress normal you know like uh, normal pants normal shirt yeah and, like and they Michael look Humber. right right they look very normal like you will never guess that they're millionaires, right? Yeah. So I think that's part of not only winning the lottery, but staying with money too, you know, being wise. Yeah. All right, good. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay, um, number three, you burn your mouth because the soup was too hot. What can you say about that particular scenario? Hmm. How do you say, te pudiste haber esperado? How do you say poder in English? Can. The past of can? Could. Could. So how do you say the police have have waited. You could. could have waited. Exactly. You, might have. you could have waited. Very good. Number four says your best friend is in terrible pain because she did not want to visit the doctor. What do you tell your friend? <laughs> you should have visited the doctor. Okay, hey, you should have visited the doctor. Good. Another opinion about number four? No? What about number five? Your brother did not pass the exam. Your brother should uh, study for the exam? Okay, your brother should have studied for the exam. He yes. should have studied more. He should have studied more. Yes. How do you say this velarse in English? <laughs> On the slip? No. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put it in the document. How do you say quedarse? Stay. Stay. If you say stay up, that means desvelarse. Stay up. Stay in a plate. So how do you say el pudo haberse desvelado? 
Again, he could. Okay, he could have. He could stay up. He could have stayed up. Yes, he could have stayed up. Okay. Uh, let's say your brother, he needs glasses to see. Without his glasses, he cannot see anything. So you're very sure that he didn't have his glasses. So how do you say, él debió haber perdido sus lentes? You're very sure about that. He must have uh, lost Good. your glasses. Good. So lost he must have lost his glasses. Okay, yeah. and, and, and remember, when, uh, when you're talking with a native speaker, it's very normal that he will say, he must have, he should have, he could have. So try to use the contraction form. Okay, uh, number six, you left your cell phone on the desk and someone took it. What would you, you say? Have left. You shouldn't have left. Uh huh. You shouldn't the have. The phone on the, on the desk. Okay. You shouldn't so, have left. Good. You shouldn't have left it on the, the desk. On the desk. The uh huh. Good. Uh -huh. How do you say, Lo pudiste haber llevado contigo? You could have taken. You could be. With you. With you. Uh huh. But look, you could have taken the phone with you. Right. We didn't okay. use carry. Uh, you can say carry too. You could have carried it with you. Sure. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, number seven. It's very hot and you can't sleep. It should be uh, taking a shower. Uh huh. I should have taken a shower. Good. I should have taken a shower before going to bed. Uh huh. Okay. Um, Number eight, your cousin broke her arm because she did not use a seatbelt. How do you tell your cousin, debiste haber usado cinturón? You should have used or luck the seatbelt. Okay, you should have used the seatbelt. Okay, what if you want to sound more serious? And you think should is not enough. I need to use a stronger model. Which one will you use? It must be used. You must. Uh huh. You must have used a seatbelt. Good. So your cousin broke only her arm, but you want to tell her, pudo haber sido peor. How do you say that in English? It might be worse. It might have. It might have been worse. It might have been worse. Huh? Or it could have been worse. Very good. Uh, number nine, your son bought a pair of shoes that cost $200. Uh, what will you tell your son if you think that money is too much? How do you say that in English? Give. 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 What is the past tense of give? Give. Gave. And the past participle? Given. 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 So you tell your son, me pudiste haber dado ese dinero a mí. How will you say that? You could have given the, the money to me. Uh -huh. You could have given that money to me. Yeah, you could have given the money. You could have waited. Uh huh. And number 10, I won the lottery last year, but now I have nothing. What do you tell me in that case? Uh huh. I could have invested. Uh huh. I could have invested that money. Good. That's a good advice. What else is good for number 10? I could start the 
company with that money. Aha, uh -huh. I could have started a company with this money. Exactly. Yes. Anybody else wants to give an opinion for number 10? Mm -hmm. No questions, comments about this exercise? No? Okay, so let's change the topic. Um, remember that the more you speak, the more fluent you become. Teacher. Yes. You have to uh, learn, uh, excuse me, do you have to explain where to practice this topic? Uh, it's in the platform. If you want to practice in the platform, but if you prefer, you can also uh, let me write it for you. Okay. Thanks. English Club. Do you see the number, the, the name that I just wrote? Where? On, on the, in the, it's in the document. Do you see the document? No, yet. No. Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, share screen. It's right there. Do you see it? No, oh, yes. Okay, English Club. When you go to English Club, um, this site right here has listening exercises, grammar exercises. It's got, you can practice different skills. So when the page opens, you will see a bar. And then you can write past models and it will give you an explanation. And it can also give you exercises for extra practice. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh -huh. How do you say, pudiste haber tomado un taxi? Pudiste haber tomado un taxi. You should, you should have take a taxi. Okay, what is the past participle of take? Taking. Taken. So you should have taken a taxi. Hubieras tomado taxi. How do you say, pudiste haber tomado taxi? You could have. You could, could have, have taken a taxi. Taken a uh, okay, good. So, uh, this right here, English Club, uh, it's a site that I do recommend. You can practice different skills. You can practice listening, uh, writing, reading comprehension, different things. So, I do recommend this site in particular. All right. Uh, any questions so far uh, about past models? Any questions or comments? No? No. Okay, so let's change um, topic. Now it's going to be a conversation. You guys are going to be working in pairs. But before I assign you, um, what is a traditional bird dating in Salvador? How do people celebrate birthdays? What do they do? Or, uh huh. Yes, Mike. Uh, to put some balloons in your house. Okay. And yeah. Uh huh. To receive what or who? Friends. Some guesses. Okay. Good. To receive guests, friends, neighbors, relatives. Okay, good. And what is the traditional food in a bird dating in Salvador? If it's a child, sandwich. sandwich. Okay, sandwich. What kind of sandwiches? <laughs> Chicken sandwich? Mm, Ham and yeah. cheese? Yeah. Whole chicken sandwich, <laughs> baby cabbage sandwich. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. So you have chicken sandwich. Uh, what about drinks? What are the drinks for a children's party? Uh, 
drink or chata. Or drink or chata. Coca-Cola. Chula champán. Okay. Now, what if the birthday person is an adult? What kind of drinks would a party for adults have? Beers. Beers. Uh-huh. Beers. Or maybe wine. 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 Vodka. If it's a person rich, champagne. Uh-huh. Yeah. Vodka. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Whiskey. Whiskey is good. No, I drink coffee. Okay. All right. What whiskey do you drink, teacher? Uh, water. Okay. Uh, you know, like, uh, when I, if I drink, I try to drink Whiskey, but it's a little bit expensive. But not so, Chivas. Chivas is very cheap. Uh, yeah. Regal? But not I like so Johnny much. Walker. Johnny Walker is Johnny good. Walker. Yeah, the black label. It, it's really okay. good. I sell the Johnny Walker. The most really? Black yes. Blue label. Yeah. Blue label is very expensive. Yeah, that's yeah. like three hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Almost. Yeah. Yes. All is very expensive. I oh. prefer the musum. Okay. <laughs> I prefer tequila. <laughs> okay. Veronica, so you really sell whiskey? Yeah. Okay, Maybe when you're returning to the airport, uh, we have to put a lot of promotion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good, good. It is All a great right. gift for your teacher, Vero. <laughs> okay. All right. So the conversation is about birthdays. You know, they ask you different things, and you're supposed to answer. Okay. Um, anything else you would like to say about birthdays in El Salvador before we go to the conversation? No. 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 Okay. So let me see where. Share it's right here. Okay, do you see the questions? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let me see if I can find an, an image. Okay. Nine to ten. All right, so it's going, going, gone. All right, so let me assign you again. So you guys discuss every question here. Breakout rules. Uh, exchange with Caroline. Exchange with Josue. Here we go. Oh. Himmler.
very cold. Okay. okay. Um, do you know how people celebrate birthdays in other countries? Do you know how people celebrate birthdays? Maybe the celebration is similar, uh, right? Yeah. If you yeah. talk about the United States, how do people celebrate? Mm. Uh, I'm they, not sure they, 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 usually, they usually have, um, you know, houses have a front yard and a backyard many times. So it's common that if the person lives in one of those houses, they have a barbecue with beer. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, so barbecue and beer. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't like it. I don't know why, but I don't like it. When you don't like day, it celebrate? When, when this day comes, the only what I want is to be with, spend time with my family, and I hate cakes. So wow, I have so daily issues. So, so my family has, family has learned to give me what I like the most, that is pizza. Hawaiian pizza. Why? Uh, that, that's the no. best part of my birthday. <laughs> 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 okay. And the worst and the worst part of that is the number. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see? Because I not celebrate nothing birthday and I had to stay to twenty-two. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah, I like parties. I like to celebrate birthday. Live to die, to begin to die. Okay. She forgot uh, of your mom. Mm -hmm. uh, and she is very, very um, enojada. How do you say enojada? Angry. Angry. Okay. She is very hungry and she go of the of the of the baby shower. Okay. See. It was the word. Yes, it it's a bad moment for the for the girl. And, and who was the person, the, the mother of the girl? Um, I did. What? Are you talking about the mother of the girl? No. Other. other. No. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. What's wrong in the country? No, a ticket, ticket for uh, some concert. And you? What present would you like for your next birthday? I would like to receive a. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, a truck, Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi oh. truck. <laughs> Mitsubishi truck. Okay. I would like to have a Nissan truck. Oh. Nissans are are cool too. Yes. Okay. Okay, the next question. Do you think El Yeah, me. I yeah, don't celebrate it. I don't celebrate it because I'm Jehovah's Witness. And you? Neither Christmas, right? No Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Not Christmas. I don't celebrate too. You're a Jehovah's Witness? Yes. 
Oh, and, and where do you congregate? In Santa Tecla, is, uh -huh. the name is uh, Casa Bella. Okay. Good, good. Do you? Uh, when I was a kid, um, I remember sure. Senor Flores, you know, I remember like if it was yesterday, he used to visit our house and he would uh, preach, you know, talk. And we used to visit a kingdom hall too, uh, in Barrio Surita, when Surita was normal, you know? Oh. Something like 40 years ago, I'm not lying, like 40 years ago. It's a small <laughs> passage that we used to visit. Yeah, it's a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, a long time, 40 years. Now so only I, I have the, the, the meetings by Zoom. Oh, okay, good, good. That's right. Okay. That's good. Yes. Yes. Next one. Which number are you doing? Number four, maybe. Okay. Yeah, number four. What's the four. best birthday <laughs> present you ever have given? <laughs> Materialistically speaking? <laughs> yeah, things. Right. Maybe a skateboard. Good from, from, from my, my brother. Yeah. You know, you know, I had just maybe two hundred bucks to buy a gift or to go to the party with my friends. And that little kid maybe changed my mind and and I gave him that that gift, the present, and he slept on the skateboard that night. So you you would you say you you will buy a skateboard for for someone? For my little brother. <clears throat> oh, okay. And he slept on the skateboard that night. Really? When I go to the party, but <laughs> it worked. It was. It works. Okay. Yes. All right. In my case, I gave my younger brother a bicycle for his birthday. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. How old was your brother? He is uh, fifteen. Okay. Yeah, bicycles he, are for 15. everybody. Okay. What he, did he say? Because of the gift? Josue. Josue? He enjoyed the bicycle. Yeah. Yeah, bicycles and are cool, even if you're an adult. He can live. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's go back to the main session. What? Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are there any questions or comments about today? No? No. Okay. All right, so it's 10 o'clock already, so I will see you tomorrow, same place, same time. Thank you for making the space. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Right.